Here is three ways to model a window so that you can maximize your design and iterations and choose the best approach depending on your particular situation. The first way, we're going to use a drafting technique. So I'll come in here and do a zero, zero, and then I'll hit six feet, six feet. I'll have the edge of the window. I can do an offset. We'll do two inches. We can select this and we'll hit planar surface. You'll notice we'll have a surface here. We can select that surface, and depending on your preferences, we can come into 3D, just click and drag, and do a, let's do two inches. You'll see that we have the frame for the window, and if you wanted to create the glazing, you could select the inner curve, planar surface, and then inset that piece. At any point, you can select the mass, and you can scale it, depending if you want a thicker window, you could select elements or lines from that window and adjust as needed if you wanted a profile or a shape. I can continue to draft to add more details. So we'll create some mullions, create a rectangle. Instead of doing a planar surface, we can also just extrude off the curve. If you do that, notice we'll have to hit the extrusion and hit cap. Once we have that mullion, we can do a dupe edge to create a curve off of the solid. We can then select our object and hit array curve, select path, select curve. We can select the number of items and you can test out how you would want to divide the mullions. The second way to create a window would be if you have an existing wall, let's create a scenario where we do have a wall. We'll extrude that curve cat okay so we have a wall here and one technique would be to create a series of rectangles for your windows you could select those rectangles and hit command t or trim and you could trim that wall but what you'll notice is that this uh, leaves it open so another technique you can do here is if i have my curves i can select those curves I can come to solid, solid edit tools and hit wire cut, select objects to cut. Now I can come into the 3D mode and I can wire cut. And you'll notice that now the window is closed here. And then immediately I can do a command, command shift if I'm on Mac and I can start to manipulate, oh, didn't work, command shift. And I can start to manipulate that opening. So we'll just select command shift the surface. So we just have the surface selected. Now we'll do dupe border. I can offset and select those planar surface and it's a similar process. So now I can just extrude this as a frame, select that and shift it. Or if I have a material change here, now I can maybe bump this out and create a material. And then to create the glazing, I would just again create a curve and then make that into a glazing material and start to build up the window that way. Third way to model a window or unique situation is, let's say you're starting off with a mass. So I'll create a mass 15 by 15 by 15. So let's say we have a preliminary mass and you are pushing and pulling this and coming up with some forms in your mind and you're just doing overall blocking and would like to explore and now you would like to add windows. There's a couple ways that you could go about this. So the first way we explored was you create a rectangle and you would hit control T and trim and you can see that it would just hit that initial face here and we would get a surface here. And at any point we could hit explode and this would be uh, one foot and we would have a solid wall with a solid frame. And from there, again, we could then use this geometry to create that window frame. Or if you wanna keep this really simple, just do a planar surface. And we would move this in the glazing into the window here and just offset it. However, there is another way that we could think about this, which is if we have a mass, we could also use something called split face. We could select the surface and we can start to split the face. Let's do it in this mode. So 
here I'm selecting split face and then I can select the panel and I can just keep editing and splitting faces. So again, you can hit split face, it will select that specific surface and you can keep on splitting it how you would like. And then you can hit command shift or control shift, option shift, depending on if you are on a Mac or a PC. In this case, I'm on a Mac, so it's command shift and I can just delete that. And then from there, I can explode and we're going to do once we do have this shape and we wanted to create a window, what we could do is just do a dupe edge again, select those pieces, then I would select those curves, join, offset, select both those curves, planar surface, select that surface, and extrude. Let's go extrude in this direction. And then for these items, I can do the command shift again. And let's say I want to make this somewhat wall. I could start to build out my window in that way. So these were just a couple different ways that you could approach modeling windows. I hope you found this tutorial helpful.